Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. Today I am very excited to share this book haul because all of these books are Christmas books. So this is super exciting because I love Christmas time, I love Christmas books, I love to read lots of books at Christmas. And so I ordered some things from Book Outlet. I did the same thing last year, they were having a sale. I don't make a lot of orders at um, Book Outlet, but when they do their sale right before Christmas time, I always look and I just, they suck me in. <laughs> I just have to order them. So I do have this box of books that I ordered from book outlet but I also went to a library sale a couple of weeks ago and they had the fill a tote bag well there was a section at the library sale of just Christmas books and there were some that I have been wanting to collect so I filled a tote bag of just Christmas books and I want to share that too but first I want to talk about uh, what I received from book outlet what's in this box the first is one of those uh, Hannah Swenson mysteries um, Joanne Fluke, this one's Christmas Cake Murder, and I think this is like, I don't know, I, there's a lot of these and they all have to do with desserts, I think. I have picked up a few of these at some library sales, thrift stores and things, so I'm gradually collecting those. Uh, these are two of the um, Vicki Delaney books, the year-round Christmas mystery. A couple of you have told me that um, you think I would enjoy this mystery series. I love cozy mysteries, especially Christmas ones, so I'm sure I'll enjoy it. But it's by uh, Vicki Delaney, and it's A Year-Round Christmas Mystery. That's the name of the series. This is Resty Murdered Gentleman. Can you see that? And then this is Dying in a Winter Wonderland. Now, I don't know the order of these, but these were on Book Outlet, so I picked them up while I could find them. I also found... Uh-oh, I'm dropping stuff. I also found a Melody Carlson. Last year, I read one of the novellas by Melody Carlson. I love the shorter novellas and things at Christmas because I want to read a bunch of them. So, I love that. Melody Carlson wrote one, and I think it came out last year. It was called The Christmas Quilt, and I loved it. I was like, this is perfect for me at Christmas. So, when I saw that they had another one, I picked it up. A Christmas in the Alps. But I will tell you that I found a bunch of Melody Carlson novellas at my library sale. So, I'll be sharing those in just a minute. But this was one that I had ordered, um, you know, sometime earlier before the library sale. And then there is a... Debbie Maycomber book in here. Um, Jingle All the Way. I love the cover of that. We are having a um, readathon celebrating Debbie's books. It's called Debbie December. And so I was excited to find this one on the list because they had already said they were going to have this Debbie December. I already knew it. I think in October they mentioned that they might do that. So I said, well, I'm going to pick some up because... I want to participate. I have never read anything by Debbie Maycomber, so I am excited to pick up this one. And I have a couple I found at library sales too, so I have a, a few to choose from. And then this was one, I think it was Ellie over at, um, what is the name of her channel? Uh, Cozy Chronicles, is that what it is? I'll put a link to her channel because I don't know that that's the name of it. She had changed her name at, at one point, but Ellie had mentioned this book last year, and so I wanted to pick this one up. How Winston Delivered Christmas, and it says an Advent story in 24 and a half chapters. So this would be a fun one, um, I'm sure, to read with uh, children as a bedtime story for Advent. That would be a fun thing to do, but when she showed me this with that little mouse, I just completely fell in love with that book, and I thought, I want a copy of that. And this was on the Book Outlet um, website on sale, so I was super excited for that one. Now I'm going to show you the books that I picked up at the library sale. There Again, there was just this Christmas <laughs> section, and I think I got just about every one of them over there. I just filled the whole tote, so hold on just a second. Okay, so they had another one of those Joanne Fluke, uh, Hannah Swenson uh, mysteries, and this one is Red Velvet Cupcake Murder. 
I loved the red cover on this. I was like, this really got, caught my eye. But this, again, was a find for me because I am trying to collect these. This was one that I had seen uh, some, somewhere, probably on BookTube, by Lynn Austin. And I do enjoy Lynn Austin. Lynn Austin is a Christian fiction writer. And this one's called The Wish Book Christmas. And it just looked nostalgic. So I thought this would be a heartwarming... Well, it says nostalgic on the back. It says, a nostalgic and, and charming tale that evokes the wonder and miracle of Christmas. That's perfect for Christmas. So I was excited to see that one. Then I found a couple of books. Um, I'm not familiar with these, but these are Amish. It's A Christmas Haven, an Amish Christmas Romance, and The Christmas Remedy. And these are by Cindy Woodsmall and Erin Woodsmall. And those just, I, I read a couple of Amish books that were Christmas themed uh, last year and enjoyed it. So I thought this would be fun. Again, these are super short. You know, you could read these in a day or two. So these are perfect at Christmas time when I get super busy. And this one is another um, Amish. This, is, this one is a novella. It has a beautiful cover on the front. Uh, a Plain and Simple Christmas by Amy Clipston. And that is beautiful. You can see the horse and buggy up there. I just thought that the snow, I just thought that was just a gorgeous cover. Now this one, I don't know anything about. Um, I don't know anything about any, <laughs> any of these. They just look good. This one is called A Nantucket Christmas. And it has a beautiful, cozy uh, cover on the front by Nancy Thayer. I love the cover of that. Can you see that beautiful little town down there? Oh, I just love it. Just beautiful. And then for Debbie December, I knew Debbie December was coming up, so I wanted to participate. So I found one, two, three, four Debbie Maycomber books. Of course, they're going to have her books at the in the Christmas section. Uh, this is Call Me Mrs. Miracle. And I know one of the prompts is to read... Uh, well, I think one of the prompts is a Christmas book, but one is to read one that's a movie. And I know this is a movie because it has the Hallmark thing on it where they made it into a movie. Uh, Twelve Days of Christmas. I like the cover of this one. Sorry if there's a glare. My ring light's hitting it. This one's called Alaskan Holiday. And I think that one of the prompts has something to do with Alaska. Because when they, one of you was, I think... Um, I can't remember who was going through the prompts, but one of you was going through the prompts, and it's I'm pretty sure Alaska is on the... I'll have to look back at the prompts, but that would work for that. And then another one of the Miss Miracle. This is a Mrs. Miracle Christmas. So there were four of her books at the library sale, so of course I had to get those because I've never read any of hers, and I am ashamed of myself for not reading, especially her Christmas books. So this this year I will be participating in Debbie December, and I have these, and then I picked up a couple of others um, earlier, so I have a whole stack to choose from. But there's a lot of prompts, so <laughs> I, I probably need to go through them and see what prompts I can fulfill. Now, these were what I was most excited about because I did want to pick up the... I mean, I have made in my little journal, um, I have these little goals of like, I want to read all the Charles Dickens books. So I write them all down in publication order, and then I just check them off as I go. Well, I did the same thing last year for Melody Carlson after I read that Christmas quilt. I said, I'm going to start looking for these and see if I can find them because it would be a fun thing to do at Christmas time. Well, they had a whole stack of her books, all these little novellas. This one is The Christmas Cat. This is The Christmas Angel Project. And all of these are those just Christmas novellas that she writes. This one is The Christmas Blessing. The Christmas Dog. I love this little puppy in the window. I love that. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Sorry there's a glare on some of these. Uh, this one is a beautiful cover. A Christmas by the Sea. And then The Christmas Pony. So I really did well for these uh, Christmas books. This book haul. I mean, I was just so excited. Uh, you know, I, I had in mind... Uh, when I ordered in, I think it was October, I ordered from Book Outlet. I said, okay, I'm going to 
you know, add some books to my Christmas book collection because I always do that. But then after going to that library sale, I just, you know, you can't resist when it's fill your tote bag. So you just fill it up. So I was really excited about that and I can't wait to get to uh, these books. Let me know if you've read any of these. Where do you think I should start? Are you participating in the Debbie December? Let me know that too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.